Hey guys, how's it going? Knucklehead here. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. So in the last episode, we uh, pretty much just finished up all the tutorial stuff, and uh, we opened up Mumbles Mountain. So let's just head straight in to Mumbles Mountain and do this shit. So yeah, first level here, Mumbles Mountain. Pretty simple level, really. Um, well, there are yeah, there are three new moves we can learn in this level. So uh, we got some enemies here, easy enough to kill. So uh, one of the jiggies you get in this level is by collecting these guys, which are called Jinjos. Uh, you have to collect all five colours on each level and you get a jiggy for it. Um, uh, this is another new collectible, there's going to be going over a lot of new shit in this uh, thing. This is a mum uh, Mumbo token and uh, basically you use those to uh, pay Mumbo the magician, not magician, the shaman, I think is what he's called. Yeah, I think he's a shaman. You pay him money, uh, well, you pay him the tokens and he will uh, transform you into things. Well, not a spoiler if you haven't played the game, but basically he transforms you into stuff that will help you out in a level. Um, he's, not in every le he's not in every level though. He's only in... How many? I think he's in... Four? Four or five of the levels I think he's in. Um, so yeah, he's not in like every single one, but uh, he's in a few. And yeah, that's pretty funny, some of the transformations you have uh, that basically help you out in some parts of the level. Like you need, you'll need to transform to get certain things in the level done, basically. And uh, yeah, so uh, hold on a sec, because I have to just turn the volume down in my headphones a little bit. It's a little loud. Okay, so uh, okay, so yeah, we've uh, as you saw, we were collecting a... Uh, Musical notes as well. That is the the other big collectible in the game. There are a hundred in every level, and you have to basically collect those to move and to 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 be able to move further into Gruntilda's lair. You have to uh, do that. You have to like um, what's the word? You have to uh, collect collect enough of them to like pass by these like doors that you'll we'll, we'll get into after this level. You'll see them. So uh, yeah, the big the big collectibles you really need are uh, the musical notes and the jiggies. Those are things those are the things you're mainly looking for. The notes will just kind of be scattered around the level, everywhere um, that you'll find. But the jigsaw pieces are the things you'll need to like fight bosses, uh, do little challenges, just like the thing I did there. You know, trying to get this big gorilla to throw his tangerines on the ground. So yeah. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit. Yeah, so you can leave whenever you want um, as well. Now, just get this tangerine. And if you take it over here, a little chimpy here. Yum, oranges are nice. I like how just everything in the game talks, like even an orange talks. Chimpy likes Conga's orange. Help fat bear. Hey, you're fat, fucking. What kind of. Some asshole he is, huh? It's like, oh yeah, I helped you out, and then you're going to call me fat. Fucking little shit. Okay, so back. F oh no, screwed that up a little bit. If we back flip up here, now these are a new thing that we're gonna get into right now because uh, here he is. Is gonna teach us. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. So yes, yeah, basically. Um, you can shoot eggs, and it's like ammunition, when you pick up the eggs. And you can fire them at a bunch of different stuff. And then, yeah, you just said there, you can also uh, fire them at the back of you. Uh, if you fire them at the front, they just, like, go straight forward. And if you fire them at the back of you, they will, like, kind of bounce on the ground and, like, go forward. So, uh, yeah, you, each one is uh, situational, like, when you would need to use it. And uh, we got a bunch of eggs here, got another Mumbo token. A few more eggs, and we have this... Oh. Okay, so we have this Gruntilda pad thing, we can't uh, actually, we actually can't interact with that right now. Hopefully I'll remember to do that before we leave the level because we haven't learned the move for it yet. So yeah. Okay, so with this guy all you have to do is shoot a bunch of eggs at him. And he will throw, uh, oh, oh come on. Yeah, he throws like a bunch of oranges at you. Um, so, oh god, I am just, nope, get up there Banjo. Back clip. There you go, son. And camera turns around. Okay. No, don't fall. Oh my god. 
There we go. Got him. Ah, bear and be conga. Me give price to bear. Yeah, okay. There we go. Thanks for that conga. So we got our second jiggy. Uh huh. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got. Yeah. Uh, we got a heart about there, so let's collect some honey without, hopefully, without this asshole hitting us. Uh, you can't kill him, by the way, the bull. He will. You can like knock him out, and uh, he'll stop chasing you for a little while. But you can't actually kill him, so just you better just avoid him, really. Okay, go up. Yeah, get some notes. There's another move we have to get up here. And uh, let's just avoid the termites right now. Oh, get the note. There's another one. Okay, here's bottles. Here's this little molehill. I think, and the move we learn here is that, yeah, the talent trot. Uh, basically, you'll walk on Kazooie's legs. Like, she'll get out of the backpack and, like, carry Banjo. And if you're doing that, it actually makes you move a little quicker. And it also makes it so you can, like, run up, uh, like, steeper slopes. Whereas Banjo, if you tried to run up these slopes, he would just like slide down. So, uh, yeah. You'll uh, see here, you can just run up this thing. And you can also move faster, which is pretty goddamn handy. Because Banjo moves pretty slow. So, being able to use this is really helpful. Okay, we got another Jinjo and another Jiggy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh -huh. Okay, and oh god, there's a few eggs over here. Yeah. And I believe. There's a mumbo token right behind here. Yep. Okay, we've got that. Okay, now now we're going to be able to walk on the, this hill onto these little platforms. So let's just do this. And we can get all of these notes. I don't know, Jinjo. Jinjo! Whee! So we just need one more Jinjo left. Yeah, see, he'll, he's telling us now we've collected enough notes to open up the first spell door. Um, but you're better just like collecting as many of the notes as possible on a level. Uh, because you you do need quite a lot uh, to beat the game. I think you need... Um, how many is it? I think you need about 90% of all the notes in the game to get to the final boss. And I think it's about the same uh, percentage for the jig pieces as well. For the jiggies. So you're pretty much better just getting all of them. Uh, otherwise you'll just be screwed. So, yeah. So let's just go up here now and uh, kill this guy. And we got our final move here to learn from uh, bottles. Whee! Okay, so this is the Break Buster, which is basically, if you've ever played Mario, it's basically a ground pound. Uh, you basically just butt stomp uh, the ground to like break stuff. So uh, this is very useful. This is the thing we need to get that uh, Gruntelda pad thing that we saw next to Konga. So hopefully I'll remember to go down there and get it after I'm done with this. Boom! In fact, I'm going to have to go to that like soon because uh, the final thing we need to do in this level is see Mumbo to transform. But if we transform, we're not going to be able to do the butt stomp. So yeah, we're pretty much uh, going to have to do the whole go over to Konga's thing first. So hopefully we can do that pretty quickly. We oh, we just got an enemy in here. Oh, no. Boom. Oh, there's our final Jinjo. Yay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we got go over here. And we got, oh, an extra life. It's the first time we've got one of those, I think. No, 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 it's not. We picked up an extra life on the tutorial level as well. And we got another Jiggy. How many have we got now? That's six, so we're only missing four. Uh, oh, God. Get the Mumbo token. Okay. Now, this thing, uh, basically you want to just fire the eggs into the mouth. And he'll get faster as he goes lower. Now, you want to make sure, do not destroy the last one. Okay, so there's the last one. You want to jump on top of it, and there you go. There's a honeycomb, en en honey. honeycomb thing. That's the only way to get that. If you destroy the final one, then you will not be able to jump up there. So, keep that in mind. Okay, we got seven of these now. So, let's... We'll go down here, collect all these notes and stuff, then we'll go hit the Gruntilda switch with the butt stomp, and then we'll come back and do the last couple of things we need to do. Woo! So... Duh! Oh, okay. Um... I'm trying to remember if we have all the... 
Do we have all the jiggies that we need so far? I'm trying to remember if I'm missing one. I think I get the feeling like I am missing one, but I don't know what one. And I don't know where. It'd be pretty fucking embarrassing if I like f totally forget where one of the jiggies is in the first level of the game. It's like the easiest part of the game, and I'm like gonna forget. Oh, that's on Mumbo's eye. I see it. It's up there. Okay, so we'll come back and get that. I just have to go over here. Let's go see Conga. Jump! Ow. Can't see. There he is. Woo! Okay. Ah Okay. So, that, yeah, we're pretty much nearly done with this level. All we have to do is butt stomp this, go up, get the jiggy out of Mumbo's house's eye, then talk to Mumbo, transform, and then go do like two other things that are really quick and easy. And then we'll be done with the level, and that'll be the first level 100% complete. So, we're doing pr pretty good here. Uh, I think, I'm um, looking at the time around the episode, I think I think we can probably get the whole this whole level done in this one episode. Even if I go a little over the time I wanted to stay on. Uh, there's no point in finishing the episode, like, right before I fully complete the whole world that I'm on, so... Yeah. Okay, just get that. Okay. Now we only got one more left, and, uh, only a few more notes as well, I think. How many notes we got left? Oh god. Wait, five? Oh, yeah, 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 in fact, oh god damn. One of the tokens is in the place that we need to go after we transform, so we're gonna have to go get that first, then come back, and then go back there again. Not good enough. Yeah, okay. I think that's where it is anyway. Okay, so boom. Uh, oh yeah, and all of Mumbo's huts as well. You'll be able to jump up uh, onto here. And I think everyone's got different. I think this one's got eggs. One of them has feathers. I think one of them has notes, and one of them has something else. I don't remember. Uh, okay, so I'm fuck. I'm totally forgetting where everything is in this level. Okay, so yeah, the final Mumbo token is in that giant mountain thing, which is the final part of the world we have to go to. So yeah, Mumbo token is in here, I'm sure. Yep, there is. Oh god. We can jump up there. Eat come, bo come. You know, so when I was a kid, right? Now, when when you pick up the Mumbo token, you hear a little jingle thing. Now, what he's saying is, Ecom Tokum, right? Now, if you listen to it though, when I was a kid, I used to think that it sounded like he was saying, Eat my bowl cut. <laughs> and I don't know why, me and my friends always said that. But I, uh, yeah, I eventually found out he was just saying, e Ecom, what was it? Ecom, e Ecom Tokum or something? I don't know. So, yeah, it's pretty funny. So, yeah, now uh, go on here, and you press the X button, and you transform into a termite. Yeah, Mum was magic free to charge back. Yeah, so you only have to pay him once, uh, one time, and then you can change back and forth as much as you want after that. Um, so yeah, and now we're a little termite. So because we're a little termite, these other uh, the termites they won't come, they won't like try and attack us, but you, they, you you'll still get hurt if you touch them. So yeah, so now all we have to do is climb up this uh, thing and collect the last few things in the level, and we're done. Oh god, um, fucking amazing parkour skills. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna get fucking mugged by some termites for my shorts and backpack. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm fucking, I'm just doing terrible at this. Come on, get the hell up there. Okay. <laughs> I swear I pre- oh god. I swear I pressed the button. This is like, it's like when you're a kid. Oh my god, I'm fucking- Mmm. It's like when you're a kid when you played fucking like Mario or something for the first time and every time you failed the jump you'd be like I pressed the A button, I pressed it and you'd like throw your controller and your parents would just be like yeah okay. Okay get out of the way asshole. Okay there we go. We got all 100 musical notes. Woo. Oh god don't fall. Okay. And now we we'll only have to get the last jigsaw piece which is up here. Just out here, and oh, get that extra life. Careful. The uh hut. -huh. Yay! Now, the weird thing, little uh, weird thing here, the f the final jigsaw piece you collect in the game. 
Whenever you usually when you collect it, uh, Banjo does this whole like little jig dance thing that he doesn't usually do. But like the first level of the game is the only time he doesn't do it because it's the only level. Uh, I think it's it's like one of the only levels where you would collect the final jigsaw piece as the transformation. So it's like really weird. But uh, yeah, make sure to jump down here into this little hole to collect the other uh, honeycomb thing, and then that's us. Oh god, the camera's like freaking out. And that's us done with this level. That's us totally done with Mumbo's Mountain. Uh, we've went a little over the time uh, that I would like, but it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll do one last thing, and then we'll end off the episode, and we'll continue on next time. So if you just run out here, don't transform back, just run up here, and you'll get this jigsaw piece as well. And then, oh god, there's a termite there. And then if you just, you don't have to go transform back, if you just run out far enough, Mumbo will start going, Oh, my magic is getting weak. You're going to turn back soon, and then, yeah, there you go. So once you get far, far away enough from the entrance of the level, you'll just automatically go back. So yeah, and that's it. That's, uh, that's it for Mumbo's Mountain, and for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie, guys. So uh, join me next time, where we'll go up this little pathway to the next part of the game. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.